So basically, this is what I am going to be inking right now. And I'm setting it up so that I can read the comments. This is Patriotica. If you guys haven't noticed from the posts that I've been doing, she is a character for a company called Mount Olympus Comics. And basically, you see, I kind of worked on inking her last night. And then I've got to ink up all of her little dinosaur friends that are hanging out behind her. So that's what's going to be going on today. It's probably going to be just inking. Um, she's going to go into colors, but I'm not too sure of the colors that's going to be jumping onto that. So hang out with me while I get you guys put up on the tripod and set up. And then while I get my inks all put together. While I'm working on this, you guys feel free to ask any questions. And uh, I'll try to answer them as best I can. Hope y'all are waking up this morning. I'm having my cup of coffee. some of these lines. See, I worked on inking her up last night. And if you want, there's the there's the rough underneath that was the original approval. I used my light box, lifted the lines I wanted. You can see I've even added like another dinosaur down here later on. So I still edit when I'm penciling. I don't usually have a completely finished piece until I'm done inking it. And then I'm like, oh yeah, I decided to throw in like 20 more dinosaurs. I can't find my needed eraser. I'd be using my needed eraser this morning. inks so that's why I waited till she was good and dry before I decided to start erasing some of my pencil marks that are a bit predominant because I didn't want to start erasing it and be like and get the ink all over the dang place that's not really fun Semi ink. I do is just dip it in there and then I go. And I make a mess. Because it's messy. Good morning. I'm doing good. How are you, Joe? I'm waking up. I had a cup of coffee, so that's always a good thing. Always a plus.
I am using a very happy brachiosaurus. I am not a breakfast person. It's very strange. I don't normally eat brekkie, but if you are, you need to go and get some brekkie. I have a feeling while I'm going to be inking this and stuff with people watching, I'm going to be doing a lot of Jurassic Park quotes. Dino DNA. <laughs> Sorry. I cannot help myself. It's just right there. It's right there in front of me. How can I not say something? Man before time, he has a little foot. I'm going to die a horrible death in front of you and scar children for life. I found the great man. <laughs> it was pretty hardcore. Uh, but that's, you know, if you really look back, the the filters and stuff uh, and the screening were not as strict as they are now. <laughs> Yay! Mine, I desperately need to get new ones. Look, they're so pathetic. Look, they're so rusty. I feel like um, the doctor from uh, the dentist from A Little Shop of Horrors. Rusty. Dull. <laughs> they're just really bad. Like, I love the Sumi ink, don't get me wrong, and it's really, really awesome, but it's corrosive, and it rusts these things so bad. But I'm cheap, and it works, I'm going to hold on to it for forever.
cool. I used to use um, Vortex ink, and I really liked it um, by Eon, Eon Comic Artboards, and I really liked that ink. The only problem is, is that it's like you have to seal it immediately after you dip your nib in it, which I'm not the best at. And if you don't, it any kind of dust that falls in it, it just is just crazy. And you know, with the Sumi ink, it's not as bad. I mean, it still gets dust and will clog up your nib and all of that stuff, but it's not as terrible. I think the dust kind of settles. Here's a bigger nib. And push down and make a nice wider line. Another one of my really rusted nibs that I need to get a replacement. Ah, see, I'm just going direct to the source. So rusty. It's crazy. <laughs> oh well. That's cool. I wish that I had a thing that I could set my ink closer, but then at the same time that would probably be a bad thing because I would probably end up just spilling it. Let's spread this down, shall we? I don't know. I guess I would say I'm a messy inker. Excuse me. <coughs> Pardon. Woo! It is allergy seeds in here. That's mine. Yeah. The only thing is how to connect it to the desk. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. <laughs> it's not really super early on my end, though. And I think that um, Ron was a little confused, so I have a feeling that we're going to have a bunch of people over in Twitch going, what is going on? because he posted my Twitch information but the time for this stream and not the Twitch stream and I kept trying to to let him know but hopefully we don't have a bunch of people sitting in Twitch going what's happening ah well 
it's just going to allow people to come in. That, that's what I was doing. I was allowing 45 minutes of leeway. Sorry guys. Again, it's allergies. Yay, allergies. So much fun. Happy little dinosaurs eating up their breakfast. Okay. Well, he had posted 10 o'clock, so I don't know what time it is right now. The what? <laughs> well, because Tennessee's just like the the dust bowl. Um, we lived in Louisville, Kentucky for a while, and uh, that was horrendous uh, for just allergies and just just the dust and the the. Um, the air quality. God, spit it out, Jen. <sighs> but it wasn't necessarily, it wasn't seasonal. It was like all year round. <laughs> just pollution. And it just ne didn't go anywhere because it all sat in that bowl. Here, it's just stuff blooming that's got us all sneezing and stuff at once. Once pollen season is finished, then we'll, we'll be like, fine, it'll just get hot. Ooh, yeah. We've got everything, pretty much just everything's going nuts right now. So if you hear me sneezing a lot, I apologize. It's just going to be par for the course because it is blooming season. Matthew, no, it's not. See, I knew there was going to be some confusion. Twitch is for tonight. Facebook Live in the mornings. Twitching at night. Thank you, Simone.
was just making sure that I was getting everybody's comments. Because sometimes my tablet likes to be all, Oh, you were talking? Oh, people are talking to you? My bad. It is. It's this little guy. Um, okay. But you can refill it. I don't recommend using them on airplanes. And then you squeeze them and the ink comes out. See? And they're nice for... Yeah. I have a lot more control with these than actual than using an actual brush. Cuz me and brushes, we don't really mix. Well, you did you go to the doctor for the first crud or did you just sit there and take over the counter medicine and say, "Oh, I'm going to get better." Cuz if it's the flu, you don't get better. You just start to feel better, and then you get worse. Um, Jerry, uh, you can order them from pretty much, uh, like the maryartist.com is one that I like to order my supplies from, M-E-R-R-I. They have pretty much the cheapest art supplies that you can find. The best place to get Copic markers, by far. There's a leg here. Let's just go ahead and do that then. And um, I believe you can order these on jet pens. I think. But just look up brush pens. Uh, and then under inking, if you're looking in supply websites and stuff. If you happen to be one of those folks who are fortunate enough to have an art store near you, it would be in the like pen department. Let's see, I've got one that's not open. Yeah, this one's not open. They look like this. And then you take that off and then you roll it all back up and squeeze it, see? And then there you go. But I like them. I like them a lot. I do have this too. An actual legit brush that I've started using but I'm still kind of working on getting control of this little guy. But as you can see, the, the tip on it is much finer than the brush pen. So, of course, I need to clean it. It's all like, Mwah. but um, I need to work with it more before I get confident with using an actual brush and dipping it in ink and all of that stuff. I used to use... Um, Thank you, Simone, for posting the link. Um, tell them Jim sent you, uh, what is it, multi-liners and stuff. But I just didn't like, I like multi-liners because they, they work. They have a good purpose. They dry quickly. But I like the way that loose inks and stuff like this looks more organic to me. And with a brush pen, you can do fun stuff like this. Like, I need scales. But you have to do it with the sound effects. <laughs> yeah, go for it.
like right now, since I squeezed it, of course, all this ink's coming out, so it's really good at the moment to use to just, you know, do my spot blacks and fill in that space. But once it starts to run out of ink and go a little lower, then I can do fun little dry brush effects and stuff too because the brush is getting dry. I know, so corny, so silly. Let's see how the dinosaurs looking on the upright. Yep. Happy to be here. Like, hi hi. <laughs> How's it going? Have a good day at work. Have fun. <sighs> coffee, coffee, coffee. More coffee. If I can get to it, I'll look at it. That's okay. Just don't bombard me with a whole ton of stuff. And like I said, if I can get to it, that's fine. But, you know, I also have two youngins and we've got, you know, softball stuff and things like that that we have to run around to and things like that. So don't be upset if I don't reply right away. <laughs> I have had people like, I sent you stuff. I'm like, I'm sorry. Ah, I'm going everywhere. It's busy, busy, busy. I was talking with a friend of mine the other day and I was like, yeah, between all the sports and stuff, it's crazy. It's dead old egg down here. Looks like my computer's waking up. Because after this one, we've got Marvel Submissions! <laughs> just felt like going over there for a second. And uh, I just finished mapping out the prompts and stuff, and I actually started penciling one of them. So that's going to be fun and exciting. Let's just go ahead and extend this down. Because right now this is kind of funny. See, he's still editing. I think that's the benefits of inking your own stuff. Is that if you're working and you see room for improvement or to make an edit, 
you can go in and just make that change while you're inking it instead of kicking yourself later. Plus my final pencils never look completely finished. I mean, yeah, you, you do see this here, but then you see this over here, that's not even really all that mapped out. So, that since I'm the one who's gonna be inking my stuff, I can just, I, I can be lazy and I don't have to do completely finished pencils. Simone, it's just so, so people are seeing what I'm laughing at. Simone types, she finally found a knee reference, and she hates it when I'm right. Not really, but dang it. Uh, yeah, ah, I didn't get to redline on top of your stuff. But yeah, that's, do you see what I was trying to explain? <laughs> I was trying to art explain at you. There's the dry brush, running out of ink. Yeah, it, it's, um, yeah, it's hard to explain, but. And it's hard for someone who, you know, for folks who didn't study anatomy very closely to be able to explain what they're trying to talk about um, when you get a critique like that. Yeah, and um, what it is is Simone drew a very fun little sketch. She's been sketching out her characters, and I've been um, talking with her and stuff, and she posted one and whatnot online, and she got a critique. It was not nasty, but it was just, it was, I got what the person was trying to say, but it's very hard to convey what is, what they were saying. If that makes any sense. Like sometimes you get critiqued um, if you're inviting for critiques and stuff. And if the person doesn't know, not exactly not what they're talking about, but doesn't know like the exact terms, it's very hard to convey what they're trying to explain. So while I was out and about yesterday, I took a look at what she was talking about. And I totally got what the guy was trying to explain. It was just, it was kind of like, kind of like when my husband comes in and he starts critiquing my stuff and he's like, that's just not right. So this is wrong, <laughs> but he can't explain why. Um, he doesn't, you know, have the complete and full knowledge to explain why it's wrong. He can just tell me that it looks wrong because his eye is telling him something's up, which is perfectly normal for someone who, you know, um, most of the time when you get some critiques and stuff from folks, they are kind of, um, not that articulate. It's not because they're trying to be rude. It's just because they don't know how to exactly explain. It's the same kind of issues that I have with colorists since I am not a digital colorist. It's like my notes and I didn't start realizing my painful critiques until I started coloring myself and I'd be all like, render it more. And then the, of course the colors would give, you know, tired of my stupid notes and be like, what? I've rendered the lemon snot out of it. So, um, you know, the, the meaning and intention was well put, but just, uh, trying to explain it. And now Simone's found a reference. She gets what everybody's 
talking about. And it's how we learn. The pterodactyl. And knees are tough. Knees are a tough one. Especially on women. Like with knees on guys, you can do like the big ball joint, the bulky muscles coming off the side and all of that. With women, it's very different. You have to make them appear strong without, with, but also slender. Ugh, it's just a pain. At least in this style. By the way, when I sent this to Ron, <laughs> uh, yeah, what I was going to tell you to do is you had that, oh, you had the knee and then you had a really big oval on top of it. You really, all you needed to do was just move that oval slightly up and you were good. But of course, I just, drawing on my phone um, is not the easiest thing to do. You have your finger and you're trying to do all the drawings and stuff. Yeah. That's, that's a little difficult. Do you remember Dino Riders? I was into that when I was a kid. Or was I the only Dino Geek? I slightly remember Dino Riders. But I had a whole crap ton of toy dinosaurs when I was a kid. I loved dinosaurs. And then when Jurassic Park came out, it was like awesome. Life found a way. And that was when I first sent this to Ron, who um, owns Mount Olympus Comics and has, you know, the Kickstarter campaign with his character, Patriotica. I was like, so many Jurassic Park quotes. So many Jurassic Park quotes. You had a little foot in Ducky Plush. Aw, Land Before Time was the first movie I ever saw in a movie theater. There's some trivia for you. Without a parent. They, they waited in the lobby. I have a feeling the parents just didn't want to see the dang movie. But, you know, I was all like, hey... I'm a big kid. I'm here with my cousins who are watching me, but I don't care. We're all grown up. We're going to eat popcorn and spill all over the floor and watch this. And watch Littlefoot's mom die and cry her eyes out. But see, that's not your first movie in movie theaters by yourself. I have my first movie uh, I don't even remember but Land Before Time was a big one because I was all like I was a grown up by then yeah so adult so grown up yeah by yourself like I wasn't technically by by myself but um, the grown ups didn't go into the movie with us and me and my cousins got to sit in there and do our thing and watch a movie. And naturally I was traumatized. <sighs> good times, good times, good times. All right, there's my pterodactyls. I think I remember because, like, because Littlefoot's mom, like, dies right off. And it was like, oh my god! <laughs> and then... I loved Ducky and then the T-Rex. I actually ended up feeling bad with for him because he couldn't swim. His little arms were too small. And he was all like, I can't doggy paddle. I'm dead. <laughs> because the pee is silent. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, yes. And I added this triceratops in here. Wow. 
want it to. Chris Pratt going up the mountain. No, I'm just kidding. coffee to wake up in the morning. Like, Yay! I guess. I don't know if that's like a nice thing or if that's like a backhanded <laughs> compliment. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. her and all her little dinosaurs. All her little land of the lost stuff. <laughs> I'm just picking on you, James. Uh, I'm from the South. I'm used to backhanded compliments. Kill you with kindness. And if you're wondering, I already ordered these. Hunt artist pins, Bebo. Boop, boop, boop. And a nice old box. So you can see the difference. Old nib. Very rusty. New nib. Nice and shiny. Look, look at the difference. Crazy. There's a cleaner I can use. I gotta start doing that. Cleaning them out. Representing Texas. Well, hello, Joe from Texas. James, I don't want you to have a shaky hand. <laughs> Y'all. <laughs> Still shiny. Uh, there it goes. Yay, look how pretty that's coming. I'm going to scratch my paper for a little bit. Some more. <laughs> yeah, poor Simone's over there like it's cracking on for her. And sometimes when I do these uh, streams on Facebook during the mornings, I get my uh, fans from the UK popping in.
so smooth. The wind is blowing outside. Crazy. Yeah, she's in Washington. <laughs> you see, I'm kind of scattering all over the paper. Sorry. scratching in the corner. I'm drawing grass. Hi, Ron. How are you this morning? Everyone say hello to Ron. This is his gal. Do you have a colorist? Or is it all you? Ron is awesome. Well, James, Ron can answer that question for you. I believe he has a colorist lined up for this one. And I believe it's going to be Ula Mos, if I'm not mistaken. And Ron, sorry about the confusion about the whole Twitch uh, versus Facebook and stuff. We usually do Facebook in the morning and then Twitch in the evening. And I'll be working on her on both platforms. Hi, Carl! All right, so Cece de la Cruz is going to be, or Ulamos, are, those two are the possibilities to be coloring this one. Hey, Orlando, thank you! But this is Patriotica which Ron has a Kickstarter campaign. Simone, do you mind posting up a link to the Kickstarter campaign? Because I believe that this stretch goal, correct, was met. Correct? And uh, so this is going to be available to folks. Fun times. Fun, fun times. Yay! Oh. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I should know that. In, I should just know that you're going to do it is what it is. Ah. Uh. It will become a cover for issue number three. Awesome. In a very southern style. <laughs> ah, yeah. Yeah, Ron approached me with this one, and I didn't know that I was doing the cheeky cover. So the first version I sent, um, you know, wasn't as cheeky as this one. And um, then, of course, I started adding dinosaurs, which got even more cheeky, and with my sense of humor and all of that stuff. So it, it's this one's just a really fun, fun little project. I love it. I think it's so much fun. Uh, <laughs> I snared my husband because I met him in high school. <laughs> ah. It's the only way to train someone. You gotta train them for a long time to handle this crazy. All right, let's see. How I scared my husband. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Crack myself up. I need more coffee. But I'll back it up and you can see where she's starting to come along. She's got her happy bronchiosaurus over here. Or brachiosaurus, bronchi, whatever. Got some. Some grass, triceratops, some pterodactyls. Oh, he's very happy. Look, he's eating breakfast. He's all like, nom, nom, nom. <laughs> just making completely in a <laughs> It's cheeky. It's cheeky. I know, I, 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 well, and then I was like, Chris Pratt could be riding a motorcycle going up the hill here and get some raptors. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fun times, fun times. We're sillies, we're sillies. So fun. I think my other uh, dinosaur cover was one I did for a penny for your soul, and it was the gal on the Triceratops for Amazing Arizona Con. And that one too was very cheeky and tongue in cheek at the same time. So many puns. Yeah, that's true, Ron, about getting the rights to Chris Pratt showing up. And this is also, yes, this is a brush pen that I'm using. Earlier I talked about uh, what I get. They look like this in the package. Do, 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 do. You can order them online. That's where I'll do all my shoppings. That'll be later. That'll be later, Ron. 
guest appearances by Chris Pratt and other Jurassic Park cast and crew. The biggest thing is to get the, the sexy uh, Jeff Goldblum laying down, shirt open and exposed. No, it's okay, Palmer, that's totally fine. Let's make it happen. <laughs> ah, yes, you guys think just like me, that's awesome. Oh no, don't worry about it. If you have any other questions about like what tools I'm using, anything um, about how I've been doing this, and you know all of that stuff just feel free to interject I do not mind talking shop I have an actual brush paintbrush but I don't use it as often as the brush pin just because I need more practice with it but. See, or we can just, you can just take this, you know, once, once this is all finished up and completed and colored with all the slick colors, because Cece and Ula both color amazingly well. I shouldn't say amazingly well, they, they color phenomenally, and, um... It's gonna look um, meowsing once the colors are put on this. But yeah, take it to a show and be like, hey, Chris Pratt, can you sign this for me? And then tag me so I can pee my pants and be like, oh my God, Chris Pratt! <laughs> James says, pencil sketches to start and do you erase as you go? Um, yes, so you can, let's see. You can see the pencils all here in the background. Sort of, kind of, there's pencils here. There's definitely pencils there. And then as the ink dries, I will erase. The original layout, there it is. I sketched it out in Photoshop. You can see I didn't have a Triceratops over there. Um, and basically just, well, there's ink blobs because I was doing testing. But um, it was the layout that I posted and everybody shared. And then I did a light box. And I penciled everything out. Didn't do final pencils. You can still see it's very, very rough. And as I'm inking, I'm refining. And then once all the ink dries, because I'm using the brush pen and then I'm also using um, ink nibs, then I will probably let her sit for like a day to get completely dry. Then I'll erase it all off. This morning when I first started this and nobody really was in the room, I erased most of the pencil marks that were on her. And... Um, just got them off, touched up her face where the eraser pulled off. Excuse me, some of the ink. I keep like, I keep trying not to sneeze. That's what's going on. I've got allergies going on. Uh, yes, and if we have connections, Joe, let's make this happen because that would be awesome. <laughs> it looks effortless. It's not. <laughs> It takes lots of work and home practice. But yeah, basically, uh, Ron, who's here in the stream, he owns, you know, Patriotic has his book, his Kickstarter campaign, and he approached me, gave me an idea. He said, you know, kind of a savage Patriotica with dinosaurs. And I took that idea, got that rough approved, and then now uh, you see me giving the final product. Then after I ink it, scan it in, and uh, a colorist will digitally color on top of that. And maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's a lot. Maybe it's practicing. Swish, swish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're such jerks. That's like whenever I watch um, Bob Ross, and Bob Ross is doing his thing. I'm like, how is he doing this? He's a witch. You know, because I don't paint. Painting is not my thing. And he makes it look so simple. 
so easy. Happy little trees. I'm going to go over here and do some happy little foliage. too comfortable with my surface and iPad for sketch and inking so I'm trying to learn the traditional way um polymer I mean uh, basically if you like digital then by all means do digital I am just a traditional artist digital confuses me I'm all like it doesn't make sense um but that's just you know that's my weakness there. If you want to play with traditional, I think it's fun. Messy mediums like this are great. You have to think around your mistakes because there's no undo button, which I have found that sometimes when I've done a lot of work digitally, because I do uh, work my layouts digitally so that I can just do it quickly, um, I'll get used to that undo button. I'm sitting here tapping her on the butt. Undo, undo, undo. And um, then I go to work traditionally and I'm like, oh, there's no undo button. Um, <laughs> but um, I think both have very strong points for mediums. There's so much you can do with both. And there's so many different ways to use both that you'll never get bored. That's for dang sure. The benefit of traditional is that you have an original. With digital, unfortunately, no matter how much fancy prints you use, you don't have an original piece. That's unlike any other. So that's the one drawback, really, for digital. <laughs> I was, I really was, I was just trying to, well, whatever. <laughs> okay, moving on, moving on. I was hitting an undo button, okay? <laughs> Who knew live streams were painful? <laughs> oh. Give you all kinds of fun stuff to think about. But the fun thing is, is like, I never really tried loose inks. Um, I used to use multi-liners and stuff. And then I got around some other artists who were using them. And they let me borrow some. And I, I just fell in love with it. It takes a while to get used to. I'm not going to lie. The inking with a nib and dipping it in the ink and all of that, that's, it took me a very long time. Then finding the paper you like and stuff like that. I went, I got a stack of Micron's and have been doing watercolor and ink. I also digitally color some of my traditional art. It's fun going between the two, yeah. Yeah, Steve, it is pretty fun. I used to use Copic multi-liners, but honestly, I, I, talk by, I talk about it like I haven't used it forever. I, I have a whole ton of them. See? A whole bunch. And there's, they're all kinds of mixed in together because, you know, not that snobby. I'll just grab whatever. <laughs> uh. Some folks are particular. Me, I'm like, it's a pen! It works! And then my favorite. This pen isn't working with Go Big Markers! What's going on? It's bleeding everywhere! I need to start over! Yeah, 
James, I do not paint because paintbrushes and I don't get along. Um, I do have a brush pen, but as you, or not brush, I do have a brush pen, bleh, and I do have a paintbrush to paint the inks on, but uh, I'm still trying to figure it out. I think it's because I'm too heavy handed. But, but paintbrushes and I have a, a love-hate relationship. It's like I don't watercolor. I just don't get it. I also don't do pottery. <laughs> Not because I don't like it. Um, yeah, there's the Eon Artboards. Um, that's the type of paper that I'm using here. Really good at absorbing the ink. Handles Copics very well, too. Keeps everything really true to color. I actually just ordered some more. But yeah, paints and I don't mix very well. Yeah, 005 is pretty awesome. Um, Copic also does 003, which is even tinier. If you want to go that route. I like 003 for doing um, faces. Like when I'm at shows, I don't do loose inks at shows just because I'll probably spaz out and spill it on the floor or on the commission or whatever. So I take the multi-liners with me to shows. They dry quickly, they get the job done. Ceramic ashtray much? <laughs> yeah, zero zero three. Hold on, let me see if I can find one. I got a blank. Yeah, uh, hair torn. Now this is the ones that you can pretty much just throw away. But here's a zero zero three. It's the Copic multi liners. Look at that, he's so tiny, teeny, teeny tiny. Yeah, well, I took ceramics in college. Like, I didn't go to art school, sorry. But that didn't stop me from taking some art classes. Granted, I took art classes like pottery and um, darkroom photography and stuff like that just because they were interesting and something different than what I normally did. And um, uh, ceramics and pottery, uh, my final experience. And my professor was like, just, just go. He passed me, but, um, I, I didn't have the knack for it. <laughs> it was not, a, not my medium of choice. It, like I said, not because of lack of respect for it or that I wasn't interested. It was totally interested, but it was just, um, I would need years and I would probably explode a lot of things in the kennel before I got the hang of it. So, um, they did want me near the kennel. <laughs> <laughs> Hi! Tell her to have a good day at work! Dark Room was pretty fun. I liked Dark Room. But that was about it as far as my art classes went. <laughs>